so we'll be creating this splash screen from scratch so you realize that whenever i launch the app the splash screen shows up for some five seconds then it goes then this main page shows up so if i launch it again you can see this appears it says please wait for some time then it goes then we have our main page pop up here so without wasting much time let's get into the video so in my source code this the starter code here so as you can see we imported Tikinta. then we are going to use the image the important image from below if you don't have this library you just have to use pip install below to install this then i've defined my window here so if i launch this so if i run this it's going to pop up so this is our splash screen basically what was having the loading and the place we turn it so this was this splash screen we are going to create so basically if you look at all this code here this is just to make the window stand on the screen so for example i can just remove this so if i remove all this so that i know get confused let me remove this i can say splash dot geometry and i can basically say 500 by 500 So I run it. As you can see, it gives the window. But I realize that first our window was in the middle. Right now the window doesn't stand in the middle. It's just moving around. So if I launch it again, you can see the window is not moving around. So with the splash screen, we want it to be exactly in the center anytime we launch it. So if you see all those code there. So all this thing that you are seeing here, that's basically what it's doing. It's not anything crazy. It's just to keep the window centered. So don't get confused about that. So basically the same thing. So now let's get to the code. So let's create our main window. So let's define. So we we'll say main window. So this is going to be the window that pops up after the splash screen. So that's what we are doing. So main window. So we want to give you some. So we want to say window. So let's say TK. So let me put some space between okay so window tk they are going to give it a background color so window dot config then we say bg so we say bg so i have this color code like that color code that looks like black whenever we launch the app so i'm having five two five five i think that's it okay five two five five six one then we we'll also give this window a size so window dot geometry basically you can still do the same thing here just to keep this window centered but i don't want any more complications so let's just maintain the geometry so you are going to realize that later we launch this app this window is not going to stand in the center just as this so if you want to make it stand in the center you just have to implement the same thing here so let's say geometry
so by 650 so this is going to be our size the size of our main window now let's give it some so for that you want to create this you want to create an exit exit button okay let's leave it for now let's launch it and see if we'll get something okay so basically it's not going to appear yet because it's inside the function so let's come down here so we are going to this so this is going to basically going to be the timer of our window so we are going to say let's say you can say splash screen timer we are going to use something called after in python to do it so let's say splash dot after so this is going to determine the time this window waits before so let's say five seconds so let's say five thousand then we we call our main window probably so when we launch this now one two three four five okay so you can see our window pops up now so for example if i come here and i say yellow so let me just come here and if i say yellow so one two three four i think it's so you can see our main window changes to yellow now so this is our main window and this is our splash window so let me make it three so that it's become quicker so once you realize that like anytime we launch a window so this this and this pop up realize that if you close this this splash screen is still in the background so what you want to do is you want to make it go in the background anytime it goes it's supposed to leave it's supposed to stay because it's supposed to be a splash screen so there are so many ways of doing it so here we can basically say so we can call our splash window here so splash window dot destroy inside our main window so it means anytime our main window pops up this splash window will destroy so let's go again so when we launch this and it goes 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 okay so you can see this pops up so when we close this you can see there's nothing in the background so the splash window goes completely so i would like to use withdraw i don't want to destroy so that so basically i will use withdraw because i don't want because i'm going to be using animation and stuff on it so not animation per se i'm going to be using a gif file so that loading thing you saw on the page when we launch it was a gif so i don't want to be having problems anytime you are destroying windows and stuff so i just want to use the withdraw so what the withdraw is going to do is instead of destroying this window to withdraw it in the background so you can see this window is not centered anytime we launch it so that's one of the reasons why i'm using this so i hope you understand it so let's just copy this copy so paste it here so we are going to use this for the height you know that's for the width then this for the height so let's clear this we don't need it again 
so here we just say window so this is window dot geometry so we also change this as well to window then we'll change this to to window all right so when we launch it now so this comes for some circuit goes you can see this stays there the next thing we are going to do now is now that our timer is working now so if i launch this again you realize that okay so you realize there's two things here so if i use the destroy here yeah, so I just want to give you how it looks. So if I use the destroy, realize that anytime the splash screen goes, if it goes this, it exists. You can if you look at the term, it says process finish with exist code zero. So it means it's existed. So if I use the withdraw right here, if I use the withdraw, realize that the window doesn't exist completely. So, if this pops up and I close it, if you look at the term now, you can see the window is still running. Why is it running? Because the splash screen we withdraw the splash screen. We withdraw the splash screen. So, even when we existed the main window, the splash screen is still running in the background. So that's why it's still there. So to solve that. We want to create another exist here so let's come under so inside the window remember this window is inside the function so inside the function we've created we just so let me put some space here so inside the function we just say we define exit window so exit window so we come right to the next line so we say window dot quit so let's come to the down so let's say window dot protocol so say so all in upper case you say delete let me close this so that to be right so delete window so I go in upper case so with a comma they will call our exit window all right so let's run it again and see so when i run it again so the splash screen comes it goes so when i close this you can see now the window existed with exit code zero so it means now what we did now is we've closed the main window we've closed any extra window in the background running the background so which is the splash screen so it's closed the splash screen so whether to use the destroy and the withdraw is up to you so whatever gives you what you want you can try and manipulate it how you want so but i'm using the withdraw yeah so if you're using the destroy then you don't need this because the destroy basically destroys the first window before this pops up so you don't need to use this 